And next up, we got Marcin Prashniao taking on Ike Villanueva. Uh, for Marcin, 14 and 5. Uh, coming in, uh, the, the Poland fighter, uh, 32 years old, 6'3", 74 inch reach. Uh, on the other side for Ike, uh, 18 and 11, uh, 37 years old, 6'1", with a 73 inch reach. Um, for you know, uh, after going on a eight fight win streak for Prashnia, uh, he's to start off um, his uh, UFC run in a bit of a, a bit of a funk, losing three straight fights uh, by first round knockout. Um, he was on the verge of getting cut, and then he uh, he came up with a huge win against uh, Khalil Roundtree at the at the beginning of the year, um, which you know kind of saved his job. And uh, for for uh, Villanueva. Uh, the heavy-handed light heavyweight comes in uh, with 15 of his 18 wins coming by knockout. Uh, for Marcin, he spent a lot of time in Thailand. Um, he had, he does have nice kicks, but uh, he he's just he's just not the best well-rounded fighter. Um, he he beat Roundtree, which you know didn't didn't look like himself. You know in that fight, he gassed quickly, and uh, poor uh, poor Chino was able to to just take over that fight. You know, and a lot of it I, I felt like was was due to the gas tank of Roundtree. Um, for Ike, um, he does have fast hands for a big man. Uh, we all know about his power. Uh, he, he gets uh, he gets real heavy on that front leg, which is you know kind of makes me nervous in this fight um, for against someone like Porcino. But uh, I do think Ike will pressure Marcin, and uh, he he should land something big to change this fight uh, in his favor early. And um, they they have the line set at minus one ninety five um, for Porcino, and for Ike is plus one sixty. So he is a dog in this one. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a good fight, uh, but I, I think Ike might be able to get this one done. Yeah, uh, the more I think about it, I'm kind of leaning towards that side as well. Prashnio, uh in that fight with Roundtree that he had last, that he won, um, you know, it was basically a kickboxing fight. And anybody that knows Roundtree lately, he's been on that, uh, you know, Muay Thai kick. So yeah, they they just went for it, and it was a it was a kickboxing bout. Prashnio did kind of throw in takedowns here and there to try to. Uh, you know, throw off the rhythm of Roundtree, but even when he did, he was getting stuffed, which just isn't a good look to see if, uh, you know, he's going to want to get Ike here, Ike down here on the, uh, this fight. It's not a good look when Khalil's uh, Roundtree is just stuffing your takedowns left and right. So, um, the, the the power definitely lies with Villanueva. If he lands, I think Prochnino is definitely going to sleep. He does, uh, his chin does look a little suspect, um, and his IQ doesn't look too high as well. When he's hurt, he walks forward with his hands down. He kind of has that, uh, you hit me, I'm, I got to get it back mentality. So playing that game with Ike here, I, I think it, uh, I think it's, I think it's going to be pretty nasty and I'm not saying that Ike's, you know, a world beater or anything like that. Um, you know, he has his troubles and whatnot. Um, but you know, in his last fight, he did show that he has some real power in his hands and, uh, the couple fights before that, he did have a, a couple couple knockout losses, but they were to Jordan Wright and Chase Sherman. Chase Sherman one was kind of you know uh, it's kind of a bad loss there, but the Jordan Wright Jordan Wright's kind of looking pretty good now. So, um, guys, and, and Jordan Wright does what he does. He he goes full blitz in that first round, and gets gets you out of there, and that's what he did to Bill Nueva in that fight. But um, yeah, in the fight after with the Morea. He showed that his hands were looking good and got him over, out of there with a big overhand. So um, if, if this fight stays on the feet, Villanueva uh, definitely live for a knockout. That would definitely have to be my pick. Uh, Prachinial's IQ just it's too low for me, and his chin's too too suspect. Um, he's gonna have to shoot takedowns. He's gonna have to make it a grinding fight. Uh, if he tries to make it a standing fight, he loses. So um, expect a lot of takedowns from Prachinial. If he's not able to secure those. Uh, he can try to go the outlanding them and out volume them uh, route, but I, I still see it being too dangerous for him. So, um, with the, with those odds being in in you know in play as well, him being a minus two twenty or depending on where you're looking at it, and I like a plus 180, 180, 185, depending on where you're looking at it. Yeah, I, I, I'd have to take the stab on Ike. I mean, even even better, you'd probably just go Ike by KO because I, I don't see him you know putting Prashnow on the floor and racking up rounds or or out volume him to say the least so yeah I, I would probably like that Ike Villanueva prop to be honest by knockout 